Hey guys, Bananiac here. So today I thought I would do a quick Q&A answering some of your guys' questions. So a question I recently got on that Raw Tail 4 video I made was, how many calories do I eat per day? I've stopped counting calories for a while now. I don't count calories anymore. I used to when I first got into the plant-based diet and that was helpful for me to make sure that I was eating enough and I was satisfied. But now I just eat as much food as I want until I am satisfied. I don't have to count anymore because I know the foods that I have to eat. If I was to guess how many calories I eat, I would say I'd probably eat more than 3,000 calories a day. That's not me trying to hit a certain number as I used to. Like before, when I was in my early days of plant-based eating, I would try to eat over 3,000 calories on purpose. Now. I don't. Now I feel like my body is actually wanting to eat that many calories. I eat foods like rice, pasta, potatoes, lots of potatoes, bananas of course, uh, fruit, vegetables, those kinds of foods. Now do I recommend you eat like I do? Not really. I mean it depends. You know, If you're doing exercise like I am or even more exercise than me, then of course you need to eat like me or more than me. But if you're just sitting around all day, maybe have an office type of job and you're not doing much activity, you don't need to eat as much as I do. But the point I like to make is if you're eating the right kinds of foods, if you're eating predominantly whole foods, right, whole plant-based foods, you don't really need to worry about calories or any other type of nutrient. You eat fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, you know, they're low in calories anyway. So just eat till satisfaction. Those foods tend to have a lot of fiber, which is great because it's going to fill up your stomach and kind of give you a natural response to when you've had enough. Someone asked me of my thoughts about swimming. I made that video recently about um, like the five reasons why cycling is the best sport for weight loss and people are wondering about swimming. I think swimming is awesome and I love to swim as well. Um, but with that video, what I was trying to do is kind of try, I try to pick five sort of reasons why I thought someone may stick to a sport and would cause them to lose weight eventually. And I found cycling to, f to hit all those five reasons. Doesn't mean there's not any other reasons why people should stick to a sport, but with swimming, I think it's great. It's it's low impact, right? <laughs> There's no impact at all. You're in the water floating and you're using almost every single muscle. So swimming is great for that. You get a good cardio workout. Swimming can still be sociable. It can still be an individual sport. You got a lot of freedom there. But with swimming, I feel like you don't get that sense of adventure. I mean, unless you're out in the ocean, or like at a at a nice lake or something like that you're just stuck in this 100 meter pool or whatever you know however long it is and you're not really doing much besides doing a bunch of laps back and forth and i don't find that really sustainable and in my opinion if you're a swimmer you know and you love doing that then i'm not saying change your mind but in my opinion i don't think that's as stimulating as something like cycling where you're traveling longer distances and seeing a different environment constantly. So I think swimming is a great exercise and if you love it, do it. If you don't, no problem. There's many sports out there and I think that's a great point as well is you should do the sport that you love to do. You don't have to listen to me and because I found five reasons I thought cycling was the best sport for weight loss. You know, you do the sport that you love to do and just stick with it. Also, somebody else was asking about the Garmin 310XT and if I still use it. Absolutely, that's the only Garmin that I own is the Garmin 310XT. I bought it for a bargain uh, offline. It was like, um, I think I got it less than $200, which retail I think is maybe around 300 And I got it bundled with a heart rate monitor as well, which is great. I, I highly recommend having a heart rate monitor on. That way you see how hard you're actually working. But yeah, Garmin 310XT is great. It has been discontinued, I believe. Um, so it's a little harder to find these days, but if you can find it, I'm sure you can find it for a bargain. Garmin has been coming out with a lot of great new products. Um, I was just on their website a few minutes ago and I saw that um, there's one that's called the Edge 520 and it has Strava Live segments on there. So I think that's awesome, especially if you use Strava. You can actually see 
as soon as you complete a, a little segment, you can see if you got a PR or a KOM or, or things like that. And I think that's awesome having that live feedback, you know, as you're writing instead of having to go back home, upload it to your computer and then check it. So I think that's great. Also the Edge 25, which seems like a nice little device that, that just came out, it gives you a, a bunch of different readings, even maps. So um, that, that may be something that you may be interested in. And of course they have their higher range models like uh, the Edge 1000, which displays everything you need it to display. So yeah, a lot of great products out there. If you're looking for a multi-sport type of device, like the Edge, um, I'm sorry, like the Garmin 310 XT. There is the Garmin 920 XT that has come out. It is a bit more pricier, but a lot less bulky than the 310 XT. That's my only complaint about using the 310 is that it is so bulky. So the 920 XT does fit a lot nicer on your hand. And of course you can strap it on your handlebars and use it for the bike as well. Now this is a bit of a random question. Um, but it has been coming up a lot lately and that is which brand of lipstick do I use? Now I'm a bit offended that people have been asking me this as if I were to give my beauty secrets away. No, I do not wear any lipstick. My lips have always been naturally red in my whole life. I do not know why. Also the way I edit my videos, I adjust the saturation, the contrast a little bit so it makes my lips look even more red than they are. But if I were to shift it with less saturation, less contrast, you can see that it's less red. And when I bring up the saturation, it goes bright lipstick red. So that's a big no on the lipstick thing. I'm sorry if I disappointed anybody out there. I do not wear lipstick. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this video useful. And I do apologize if I didn't get to some people's questions. I do get a lot daily through social media and email, but I do encourage you guys to keep sending your questions my way and I will do my best to answer them. Great way to do that is to post it in the comment section down below or send them to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And I will try to do more of these Q&A style videos just to try to answer as many questions as I can. Also, if you guys have any requests, you can send that down below as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.